Hello everyone, this is Atsuki Chef channel and by the way, today my channel's birthday. Exactly one year ago, I have uploaded my first video. So huge thank you for those who subscribe to my channel, huge thank you for watching my videos and I'm not gonna stop. So let's stick to main topic. Uh, today I want to show you an amazing recipe. It's called cutlet brisol, but basically it doesn't look like cutlet. Uh, anyway, you're gonna see everything. And by the end of this video, you're gonna say, wow, I want this recipe. Let's move on. Ingredients, 800 gram of beef mince. You can use chicken mince, you can use pork mince, use your favorite mince. Uh, eight eggs, uh, five cucumber pickles chopped, 250 grams of uh, mushrooms chopped, one medium-sized onion chopped, two medium-sized onion grated, uh, chopped dill, 400 grams of uh, sour cream, uh, 10 cloves of garlic minced, uh, mayonnaise, parmesan, uh, cream, milk, uh, salt, pepper, and sunflower oil. Let's move on. Okay, first step, let's create the sauce. Two tablespoon of mayonnaise to it. One, two, then I'm gonna add uh, minced garlic, chopped dill, one pinch and one more. Parmesan cheese. Also, one, two. Little bit of uh, pepper. Little bit of salt. Mix it well. Let's mix it properly. Sauce is ready. Put it on the side. We're moving on. Next step is our beef mince. Two grated onions. It goes in. Some salt. Black pepper. And now we have to mix it properly. With our hands, very gently. As you may beat up the mince like this. And I feel you, we need to add a little bit of uh, water. Half a cup maybe. The mince will be juicy. Okay, mince is ready. Uh, you can put it on the side. Okay, next step, eight eggs. Some salt, black pepper, a little bit of milk. Give it a whisk. Fork is better. Just put it on the side. We have one more step. First step, uh, we're gonna make a filling for the cutlets. First one is uh, cucumber pickles. There is nothing to do with it, it's ready. The second one is mushrooms, and I'm gonna show you what to do with it. Hot pan, piece of butter, uh, one chopped onion goes in. Let's give a few minutes. Once it starts getting brown, uh, this is the right moment. Uh, onion looks good. We're sending mushrooms. And do not put any salt because once you add salt, they'll start releasing moisture. Let's give another five minutes, maybe more. It's been like five minutes. And at this point, we're gonna add a little bit of cream. Okay, a little bit of cream. And right now we can add some salt, a little bit of salt and some black pepper. Give another few minutes, then you can switch off the heat. Now you can transfer it to the bowl and keep it on the side. Remember our eggs, hot pan, we add some sunflower oil, little bit. And now we're gonna make sort of pancakes or omelets and they have to be very thin. Even more. Oh, 
Okay, let me show you what to do next. Uh, we take our omelette or pancake. So we put the mince in the middle and slowly start spreading the mince on the surface of the omelette. Okay, a little bit here, here. The next step, sour cream sauce, we have to cover everything with this sauce. We put one in the center and start spreading slowly, it's done. And now we have two types of filling. First one, I'm gonna do mushrooms. So we're gonna place them over here in one line, like that. Right now we have to roll it. Maybe next time I'll put less uh, filling. One roll is ready. This way you're gonna do the rest. And this is another type of filling. Little cucumbers. So for this one we just place cucumber pickles over here. Like this. And that's it. We roll it very carefully, very gently. Just roll it up. So second one is ready. This way we are making a brizol. Last stage, uh, cooking in the oven. Okay guys, final stage. So I managed to make five four of them with uh, mince mince finish after four they are huge size and last one i put uh, remaining of the mushrooms and a little bit of uh, pickled cucumbers so over here i put some oil so it will not stick because and by the time preheat the oven and that's remaining of our uh, sour cream sauce just apply it on the top of each okay the final touch now we can put parmesan on the top we can send it to the oven for 20-25 minutes This is our cutlet brisol. Juicy. Look at this. Shall we try? I think yes. Mm. It was not easy, but it 100% worth it. The result is amazing. It's juicy, tender. You can surprise your guest. 100%. I believe I deserve like. Please put comments. Don't feel shy. Put comments. And of course, thank you for watching. See you again.